Have you received any orders since this cri crisis began, which you have been uncomfortable following? Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party. Yeah, so there's a there's a cop that's got something to do with the uh, letting people in and out of the meeting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. So the fact that I'm standing outside a government meeting, not allowed to go in it from what I understand, and there's a cop at the meeting, sort of, outside the meeting. I guess I should be angrier about that than I am, but uh, maybe I'm adjusting to this so-called new normal faster than I should. So these folks have been stopped from going in. I guess they've got 12 people in there right now, and uh, these folks are kind of having to wait outside. So am I, unless I want to uh, play civil disobedience boy. Hello, officer. How are you? Question? Uh, what, if I may ask, is your role in this meeting? Oh, well, nothing. It's just public relations. See how everyone's doing. It sounds like everything's good. Is that another way of saying you're here to make sure that no more than 10 people enter the room? No. If I may ask, have you received any orders since this cri crisis began, which you have been uncomfortable following, you know, like restricting people and so forth? Can you be more specific? Uh, for instance, stopping someone from having a church service over a certain number of people or restricting people from entering a government meeting like this. I haven't ran into a, any issues. Well, you're not going to with me because I'm complying. But if someone did try to go into this meeting uh, and they've already got more than 10 people, what would you do? That, that's a hypothetical question that I can't answer. No one's ever tried to enter after the 10 person mark? I mean, I heard that you already got to 12 people, so someone must have already done it once. Is that correct? I'm sorry, say that again? Well, you, I understood there were 12 people in there until you left. Is that correct? I don't believe so. I mean, I could be I, wrong. I, I, didn't, I didn't count. You're welcome to go and take a look. Oh, thank you. All right. Well, you're not stopping me from going in. <laughs> I have a lot less to complain about, right? <laughs> I have, uh, you know, I guess in Massachusetts, they, uh, they've ordered people to wear masks while they are alone. If such an order were issued in New Hampshire, would you enforce it? Again, you're, that's another hypothetical question. <laughs> and I can't make you answer. <laughs> but I appreciate your transparency and your yeah. time. No, you're welcome. And I'm sorry if I demoted your, your captain for all I know. <laughs> Can we make it a general? <laughs> no, we no, can't. I, Thank I'm God. A, I'm a patrolman. Police, uh, you guys cause us enough, uh, <laughs> enough uh, concerns without uh, having any generals in your ranks. Right. So, right. all right. I'm sorry, your name? It's Dave Ridley, R-I-D-L-E-Y. Nice I run RidleyReport.com. It's nice to meet you, Dave. All right, it's good to meet you. I feel like we may have met before. You look familiar, but uh, I, do, I do live in town. But, uh, oh, I think I, see, I saw you a month ago. On oh, over here when you were on that, yeah. well, it looked like a suicide call to me, but. No, no. Everything worked out. Okay, good. good and she didn't lose her gun rights? <laughs> no, no. Good, good, because I had a buddy that made a suicide uh, hotline call once. and he, I, mean, I don't know if that was a suicide hotline. It's just what it looked like. Mm -hmm. uh, and he made such a call and almost lost his gun rights. Yeah. Unfortunately, I guess. Yeah, all right. Is he good? Oh, he's all right now, and I'm glad to hear she's all right now, too. Good, good. She looks so sad. Take care, Dave. All right, thanks so much. Take care. Yeah, so what, what I was referring to was a, uh, you, know, you know, a despondency call. Probably a suicide hotline call was what it looked like when I was uh, filming him the last time. All right. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit... Forkfest.party, it's gonna be a party.